you're watching Fridays here at Backyard Tech. For those of us who joined Old Mate last night for Thursday night's live stream convos here at Backyard Tech, may have noted towards the end of the convo the other half stuck her head in the door and told me that her laptop had spat the dummy again. And on multiple occasions I have tried to keep this laptop going. But to quote a line from Star Trek, I think it's dead, Jim. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, a bit of a new Friday eye dent to kick off this video and I'm making all these little eye dents and stab intros and that for the channel now, um, especially for Fridays because Fridays are, I've always said this, it's the end of the week, you need to get yourself ready for the weekend. So I thought a nice little stab eye dent would be a good way to kick off uh, this video. Nevertheless, let's get down to the crux of this one and we're dealing with the other halves Acer Aspire E1571 laptop and on multiple occasions I've rebuilt it but as I said at the top of this video I think it's dead Jim. For some unknown reason the hard drive just keeps stopping. The laptop seems to drop it and while the drive keeps spinning and there's nothing wrong with the actual drive I think the laptop's problems are terminal. Now I've got to keep her happy. She's got a lot of stuff on that laptop sensitive to things that she's doing. And her added next course that she's involved with, she's got videos on the hard drive. So, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to attempt to resurrect the actual system. But I think it's terminal. I think it's had it. Um, now, obviously, this is less than ideal. Very less than ideal. However, whilst I don't have any Core i laptops left, I do have a couple of spare laptops to tie her over. She needs a laptop. All right. Um, at the moment, she's using that horrific Aldi laptop which she can't do anything with. I mean, it's running Windows 10. I can't even get Linux to install on it, let alone run. So, we need to figure out the problem. And that, for this video, that is exactly what we're going to do. Let's see if either A, I can salvage the laptop, or B, whether or not I've got a... Well, unfortunately, get rid of it. All right, so here's the other half's Acer. There's the channel mascot. Now, as I said, it spat the dummy last night. She's having to use that terrible Windows 10 Unisurf laptop, but she loves this one, mainly because she also loves MX Linux, but let's see what happens. There we go, straight away. Straight away. Okay, let me turn this over, pull the back off it, and we'll try and figure out what's going on. All right, so I've got the screws out of it. The drive, oh, the drive's not hot. Normally what happens, and th this is the hardware guy in me talking, okay? We all know old mate's better with hardware than software, but normally a failing drive, right? And those who've done hardware will know that there are, I guess you can say there's sort of three to four different ways a hard drive will fail. We know there's corrupt areas on the drive. 
mechanical failure, including head crash, bus interconnect problems, okay, there's that, and also hard drive controller issues. So all of those can affect a drive, but what I can't fathom out is why this thing keeps stalling out. Um, I'll tell you what we'll do. Because the drive's not hot. The drive is not hot. And I mean, if we get out and have a look and we'll just check the... Okay, so the fan, yeah, it's a bit dusty on that blower. It may be overheating. You know what? I reckon it is overheating. I think that might be the whole problem here. It's overheating. So we've got two problems we've got to figure out here. Okay. Problem number one, this. Now, I do have a backup of this. Okay. Um, which is lucky. <laughs> So I do have a backup of this. This is a, uh, you guys aren't going to be able to read that, but the mascot just fell over. Um, this is a, I can't even read it. I don't actually know what drive this is. Um, oh, it's a Toshiba. Uh, Five hundred gig, so it's a Toshiba five hundred gig SATA two, so it's an older drive. This is a SATA two laptop. Okay, what I'm going to do here, all right, I, I've got to be honest. I think this is the only way I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to just leave the hard drive unscrewed for the moment. All right, I'm going to leave it unscrewed. I'm just going to put this in here for now. All right. What we're going to do is come back. I'm going to leave it sit here for... There we go. I'm going to leave it sit in here. I'm not going to screw the drive in. All right. Oh, I can't pick it up one-handed here. This is terrible. There we go. Okay. He's watching everything. Here comes the other half. Hello. All right. Everyone say morning to her unicorn slippers. Now the mascot. Can you move him? Thank you. Oh. All right. Now let's see what this does. Okay, so it's gonna boot. All right, I'm going to leave this sit here for a few minutes, and I'm gonna see whether or not it fails. Now, if it does fail, then we have trouble here. If it doesn't fail, then I've gotta work out, is it the hard drive controller, is it getting hot, or is there a problem mechanically with that Toshiba hard drive? So I'll leave this sit here and we will be back. All right, five minutes later, it's responding, but it is really hot coming out of that heat sink. I think it's our overheating issue. And I'm wondering if it's getting so hot that it's locking up and the hard drive controller is just stalling out. Um, let me shut this down come back and we'll see what happens uh, or whether I reboot it let's go for a straight reboot first and see what it does first thing I want to do though is I want to get into the BIOS and have a look at the I can't remember whether this BIOS shows temperatures or not oh, hang on all right so it doesn't show temperatures which is a little bit of a bugger um i 
Okay, so it sees the hard drive. All right. Wow, that's hot. Okay, um, I'm gonna turn this off before it dies. Off. Ah, off. I can't even get the thing to shut off properly. No, I can't even get it to shut down. Um, all right, hang on. Okay, I can't even get this thing to shut down properly. It's now done this again. Um, that is so hot coming out of there. I wonder if this is just getting very, very hot. Uh, hang on a moment. Well, I don't like doing it, but I ended up having to rip the power out. It's very warm here, so I think what I'm going to have to do is blow that heat sink out with the air compressor. And, uh... Have another look at that fan, shall we? Yeah, look at the dust in there. I think it's I think it's an overheating issue. Actually, I don't think it's an overheating issue. It is an overheating issue. Ah, there's the channel mascot back again. That's my OHS rep. Alright, hang on a moment. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is get the air compressor to it blow it out and uh, see if I can stop this problem because the thing is it's really giving the other half the SH1Ts and right at this point in time she needs this laptop so I do have a backup of this as I've said but she really likes this laptop because of its layout how well when it is running how well it actually runs so i'm gonna to have to try and fix this all right i'll be back with you shortly all right well that looks better there it's marginally better on the heat sink but it's definitely better on the fan so now what i'll do is put the hard drive back in screw the hard drive in again and power it up and see <laughs> whether or not it does the same thing. All right, so hard drive screwed back in. Let's get this back on there. I'm gonna put the screw in for the optical drive. I can do that shortly. I'm not worried about the optical drive as much as I am the hard drive for this thing. <coughs> okay. Now, trying to do this one-handed is not easy all right let's see what this does go all right we'll let this load up Wait five minutes and we'll be back. Alrighty. No hot air. That's not hot. Hasn't stalled out. Not slow to respond. The touchpad's not hot. I reckon I may have saved my bacon here. Because there's... You yeah, see, that's not even getting hot. Neither's here. I wonder if the problems have been overheating. I'm starting to think that might be what the problem is. Oh, I see what's making that. Sorry about in here, it's reflection. Um, see that, that, you remember a few minutes ago, this was very warm here. But it's now, you know, it's not too bad. All right, let's, um, let me open up 
my YouTube channel from her YouTube profile. And uh, there goes my union representative. I think I may have dodged a bullet, everyone. I may have saved my bacon, and the other half won't go off a collective rocker at me. All right, let me bring up my YouTube channel. Hang on. All right, so let's just check a few settings here. Let's get a full HD on that at full 1080. Now, remember, this is only a Core i3. It's not exactly a rip-roaring laptop, but the other half loves this laptop. So I've got to salvage it, because the only other one I can give her is an older Zeus, which would be a massive downgrade in CPU as well. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'll just mute that sound. Hang on a moment. The fan's not even accelerating. I can I can feel nothing but cool air coming out of the heat sink. I think I may have saved my bacon here, everyone. <laughs> I reckon I have. Hang on, let me close all this down. All right. Well, I think, I think I've done it. Because that is definitely not getting anywhere near as hot. And that's something the other half was saying was it would get hot um, around here. So I reckon it's been overheating and causing other problems down the line because you've got... The way these are laid out is you've got your power input here with a soft soft touch button and then it moves this way, right? So, time's going to tell, but at the moment, I mean, that's not even warm. That's not even hot. Here comes the other half um, with her two fairies. Um... That's, yeah, that's not even getting hot. I think I've done it. Time will tell, but what I'm actually going to do is, once the other half's finished what she's doing, I'm going to get her to use this for about an hour to an hour and a half, or at least until we, actually, we've got to go out, don't we? Um, I might get her to use it the Savo. Um, I'm going to leave it on for now and I'll get her to use it the Savo and then I'll let you know tonight during the Friday convos. The mascot's going pear shaped at the moment. I think he I think he's going on strike. It looks like he's having it looks like he's picketing. Uh -huh. Or fall through the box and then we'll have a the <laughs> the union rep will go on strike. You watch. Uh -huh. I'm going to leave this going. The other half and I have got to go out shortly. So I'm just going to leave this go now. And then I'll get her to use it, the Savo. And I'll let you guys know tonight whether or not it locks up on her. But there we go. I think I saved me bacon. We know the, the, we know the rules about, you know, your other half and significant others. Happy life. <laughs> anyway, stick around, guys. Uh, we'll see what else crops up throughout the day. Have a good one all. Cheers.